All right, guys. So avoid evil lifting at the gym, okay? You're not there to convince anyone. No one cares about uh, how much weight you're lifting. And if you enjoy yourself, guess who's going to suffer? You will suffer alone. The people that you're trying to convince at the gym by ego lifting, they're not going to care. They're not going to uh, feel your pain when you enjoy yourself. And some of the injuries you're going to attain at the gym can be permanent. You can permanently injure yourself for a lifetime, okay? You can become an handicap for nothing just because you were trying to um, convince people. You were trying to impress people or a girl or a guy or you want people to talk about you. When it comes to uh, lifting weight, you need to be considerate about your health. Your health should be your number one priority and the aesthetic should be uh, your secondary priority. But that being said, if you are not lifting weight that you know um, you, you, can, you can lift, then you shouldn't. Bring, bring down those weight. It doesn't hurt. No one will talk about you. No one will care. Believe me, nobody will care. And convincing people is the wrong mentality. That's not why you are there. You're not paying your monthly fee to the gym in order for you to injure yourself or impress people that does, they don't even know you. Those people do not even know you. They see you, but they don't know you. All right? Because they're trying to impress a complete stranger. So be mindful of that. If you know you cannot lift that weight, you try. Let it go. Because sometimes for me at the gym, I don't I don't even lift. But when it comes to uh, uh, deadlifting, sometimes I want to challenge myself. And someone who doesn't know my interpreter has ego lifting. I'm trying to push myself to the next level. There's a difference between progressive overload and ego lifting. Ego lifting is just lifting the weight, okay? And you look around, who is watching you? It just doesn't make sense. Put that thing down and get out of the gym. Go get some rest. Maybe you need to sleep and come back because you're not in the right mind, okay? Trying to progressively overload is different than ego lifting. When you ego lift, you're doing it for your own ego. You want attention, the wrong type of attention, okay? Because sometimes I do, I do challenge myself. I want to take, I want to take my strength to the next level. So therefore, I increase the weight just to see if I'm able to pull this weight. But if I can't, I attempt to deadlift and I know I can't. I'm putting that weight down and decrease it. Go back to what it was. I'm gonna build my stamina towards it. So there's a difference. Don't come don't 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 confuse the two. There's a difference between progressive and ego lifting. You need to know the difference. And I'm here to tell you ego lifting serves no benefit to you nor the people around you. You're doing yourself a, a disservice. Focus on your workout. Do it right with the right form. Alright? Don't enjoy yourself. Be very mindful. Don't ego lift. <music>